So. I like to tell people that you should actually appreciate your losses more mm. because they teach you so much. Yep. Yeah. Like without them, you can't get better and better and improve, right? So I don't know. I like to tell people to shift their mindset about that. And it's easy to get super upset, but take it, learn something from it, then you'll be better next time. What is a, a loss that you've had that you think would be good to cover? Iconics Group. Iconics so, Group. Okay, let's I take a look. Iconics Group was a stock. Was or is? It, <laughs> technically is. <laughs> technically, technically it is. is. It's hanging on by a thread, and they're probably going to have to do another reverse split. Okay. So they own uh, a lot of brands that they license out. Mm -hmm. Retail brands, clothing brands, things like Umbro, which is a soccer brand that used to be super popular mm -hmm. when we were kids, mm -hmm. um, which was apparently supposed to be up and coming again and then they owned uh, a few other really popular brands that were in walmart target uh just big big chains walmart kicked them out didn't want their brand anymore wanted to do their own brand target kicked them out didn't want their brand anymore wanted to do their own clothing brand gotcha and sears and jc penny were some of the uh, retailers that used their brands as well obviously sears is no longer you know so what so what happened with this one you bought it and then so i bought this one and i are i had already had some that i was holding for an investment okay okay and then i saw this breakout opportunity on the chart what year was this it was 16 2016 17? so somewhere maybe somewhere around, around there yeah and so i had bought it for a day trade uh-huh i had already done some work on it and i was already holding some so at the end of the day, I, when I would normally close the position out, it didn't, it hadn't gone, like it hadn't moved like I was anticipating. It was like hovering above the breakout level. So I was like, okay. And I just was like, mm, you know what? Let me just I'm hold gonna this. turn this into, I'm gonna just hold this and turn it into a swing trade. Yeah. And that was the last time I've ever done that. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, so you turned a day trade into a bag hold yes. that lost like the whole position. Yes. Was it a big size? 100%. Or not? Like hundred percent loss. I mean, it's basically. like nine. It was like a. It was a. It was like a ninety. Yeah. Percent loss, but because <laughs> I, I well, the reason that I held it and kept holding it, because obviously you can cut your losses early. You don't have to take. Yeah. A so, 100 so you loss. so you held. You bought somewhere over here, and then you held throughout all. I held through all of, of this. It. At at one point, I just ignored it and was like, "Well, you just wrote it I was off." Just as like a you know loss. what? I'm never gonna get my money back on this. But yeah. instead of selling it, I'm just gonna maybe they get bought out maybe they sell a few brands off yeah. and get some money to pay down debt maybe you know umbro does well in target and you know yeah. all of these things and so and also this company had a lot of debt and that's when i was really kind of working with travis and you know learning about fundamentals putting fundamentals into my trading yeah and because you used to be uh I was purely chartist. purely a, char a technical chartist that was yeah. it and um at the time I thought I like um, and you warned me about their debt. Travis warned me. He yeah. told me. He said this is a lot of debt and you know, I obviously didn't didn't have the I guess I guess I just had hope for the not, not hope, but I I had I liked the brands that yeah. they had under their portfolio. Yeah. So I was like, I think this is going to make it, you know. And turnarounds with leverage when they work, they can work big. I mean, Icon was a was a stock that was down already like 70 or 80% from, mm. from yeah. like a year or two before you got into it. And, and it was trading at a low PE. Yeah. Cuz that th and that was the thing. It wasn't like completely off. They, yeah. It was yeah. they had earnings. Yeah. But then, so it was a real company making money, but it turned into like a value, value trap. trap. Essentially. Value trap. Classic yeah. value trap. What you might consider doing is actually get out, uh, reevaluate, maybe look at other investments that have a you know opportunity to grow your capital and get mm -hmm. you back uh, mm -hmm. to that that wealth level that you wanted. But or cut the loss, and then if the fundamental you know thesis is still intact at the if it goes lower. You can always get back in. Yeah, yeah. So I, I got really good after that at just making sure that I cutting these losses 